Okay, hi guys, my name's Shannon, and now this is 2017. Is the dab dead yet? It should. I think it's time to. The dab should be dead. So if you're on social media at all, we all know that 2016 was a bitch. It was a year. It was a time. 2016, you know what? It happened and it's done. Fuck 2016. Fuck it. A lot of things happened in 2016. Some good, most. Maybe not so good. Maybe not so good, but one thing for sure, I learned a ton in 2016. It was a very big year in my personal life. And so before I start 2017 here on YouTube making videos and just generally having a good time, I wanted to make a video and kind of tell you guys everything that I did learn in 2016. Maybe bestow some of my knowledge now that I'm this grown adult woman who's very smart. That was a joke, all oh, that was a joke. I just want to tell you guys 16 things that I learned in 2016. It's gonna be quick, it's gonna be short, it's gonna be to the point, it's gonna be fun. Life changes. Change is hard. Change is good. You should always read the labels on medicine before you take the medicine, because if not, you may, on New Year's Eve, take medicine that you're allergic to and roll into 2017 with a rash all over your body. Anyone else? And this rash may cause you to make your 2016 reflection video a week later than you originally intended. You are allowed to cry. You are really allowed to cry. And you probably should cry every once in a while. It's okay to cry. You should probably cry more. You have to tell people how you feel, even if it's really hard to say, and even if it's gonna be really hard for someone to hear. Don't stay in one spot for too long. Jump around, jump, jump, jump around. You should open your heart to new people. Comparing yourself to other people is crippling, and you know this, and yet you keep doing this, and you should stop doing this. Yep. Every single person you meet knows something that you do not know. You should listen. I really need to do that one more. Always be kind to other people, but also be kind to yourself. Don't be scared to try new things, even if you might suck at them. I have this tendency to not try something unless I know I'm gonna be good at it, and it's really not good quality. It makes me not try a lot of new things that maybe I should try, and that's definitely something I learned last year and it's definitely something I'm trying to change this year. It turns out there is no limit to the amount of temporary debit cards that Bank of America will give you when you lose your debit card. Although by like the sixth or seventh time, they do start to get a little bit judgmental of you and maybe you should not do that quite as often. Please. Speaking of losing things, it is totally okay to lose yourself sometimes. Self-awareness and self-discovery are like two of the most important things in this whole entire world and I'm sure that 2016 won't be the last time I feel like I lost myself for a minute there. But that's part of life and it's good and it's healthy even if it's a little bit scary. It doesn't matter where you are or what you're doing or when you're doing it or how much it costs. The only thing that ever matters is who you're with. So surround yourself with good people because that's literally all that matters. And last but certainly not least, I can make it on my own. Okay guys, I hope you like these 16 things. They are 16 very important things that I may have already known but were reiterated to me times a billion in 2016. And as hard of a year as it was, I am so grateful for last year and everything that it taught me more than those 16 things. I'm grateful for the people that it brought into my life and the experiences that I had and 
even the bad stuff, I'm grateful for all of it. The good and the bad, it got me to where I am right now, which is in a really good place. And I can't wait to see what 2017 is like. I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys. I hope you all have a great year. I hope you all had a great new year. I hope you all had a great holiday season and winter time. And I love you. What's the biggest thing you learned in 2016? Comment below and let me know and maybe we have something in common. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked my list and subscribe to my channel if you're not. I make videos as often as possible, which is going to make them more often. Okay, bye. And last but certainly not least, I'm moving so quickly. 2016 kind of, kind of blue, kind of blew some big dick sliding into 2017 life. <laughs>